All right, so uh, not too long ago from uh, when this video that you're watching was posted, I did a video covering uh, do we record all the gigs that we do? And the answer to that was no. And uh, so I thought I would do a video here showing uh, some of the work that I do to try to constantly maintain the PA. And th this topic is something that I actually don't do too many videos on because it, it gets boring. But it's just to make sure that the PA is still in good shape and things like caster boards, which is what I'm working on today, those are still working or functioning as they should. All right, and here's one of the caster boards that we use. And it's actually more of an appliance dolly. Uh, it wasn't that expensive, but it did work. But uh, these are, once again, these are these really bad casters. They're just a hard plastic. Yes, they can support a lot of weight. But they're very noisy, and they do not absorb any of the uh, uh, imperfections or indentations or bumps in a, like an asphalt or a concrete walkway. So anything you push on them with these kind of casters, it just vibrates really bad. So I went to a rubberized caster on some of the boards uh, just to help mitigate that problem, this constant noise and vibration from it. All right, so on a board very similar to this, this caster board that I was using to support some equipment failed. All right, and here's the equipment that was sitting on that failed caster board and uh, actually what it is, it's just uh, these uh, four pieces down here. The rest of the stuff here, I'm working on another issue with another caster board. But uh, this stuff right here was probably 140 pounds between both of them. And this was probably maybe 60 pounds over here between both of these. But uh, they did a number on this caster board. Not this one, but the one that's just like it. All right, so I've replaced uh, the old caster board that was like this with this other one. And I generally make my own uh, just because of, it, it, in my opinion, it's too expensive to get other caster boards. And besides, a lot of these things get rained on. Uh, they get sort of abused. They've rolled out of the back of the van. Um, there's always something going on with it. So I've always had, uh, I always keep these uh, spare casters around. These are four inch. These are the rubberized tires. It's very quiet moving something across like asphalt. And the equipment that's on the caster board doesn't vibrate uh, with these rubberized tires. There is a little bit more coefficient drag to push or to pull this caster board across the rough surface. But in my opinion, it's well worth it. And um, I sort of customized I don't say customize, but um, I, I make them the width that they need to be for what I'm carrying. Uh, you know, a lot of the cases have a lot of different sizes, and not one caster board can work with um, all cases. So I just sort of make the sizes that I need. So this caster board is going to uh, be used to hold that gear that's over here. And as you can tell, I just paint the top of it. Uh, I don't usually worry about the bottom of it, but uh, I usually paint it in a semi-gloss because I found that the water sort of beads but the water does tend to bead on it better and it's just easier to wipe off and keep dry and when this one comes to the point where it's going to fail it's just a matter of taking the casters off and uh, making another one. Just like in construction, you got to get that the bottom part. You got to get the foundation right because everything that you do is based upon that foundation. All right, we're gonna ratchet this stuff down when we get at least uh, a couple of cases on it there. And you, what I like to do is. Uh, I got the F over here showing that's the front because uh, that's the front also it's the heaviest side so the next thing that goes on it I like to put the heavy side on the uh, 
on the other end of the part that's the heavy part down here. Uh, I just like to try to distribute the weight evenly. Once again, this is for storage and transport. Oh boy. doesn't have to be super tight, but we definitely want it to stay on there. All right. Now that this stuff here better attach with this pulls a heck of a lot better. Get it off the cardboard, because the cardboard adds a certain amount of drag. Let's um, let's actually keep let's keep this out. Right, let's keep this out of the way here, just temporarily. Uh, yeah, and some other things that that need to be done. I mentioned on the labeling. Uh, my case needs to be relabeled. Just all scratched up. The, uh, the F is disappearing off of here. going on here with um <laughs> I think you can tell here looking at this see something um a little odd there on that caster board it's um you know I think it's just gotten I made that caster board on this one here uh, I probably made that about 10 years ago but uh I made it just as a temporary board, so when I'm doing shows, I just bring that, put stuff on it, usually stuff that isn't very heavy, and use that to transport stuff. But since that time, uh, I've been using it to support nothing but the uh, digital stage box, and then on top of the stage box, there's um, there's other gear. The, um, the smaller stage box sits on top of this, and then... Um, uh, got a voltage regulator and I got the, uh, the case of mics and stuff like that so it's, it's had a lot more weight on it uh, than what was originally planned but um, this, this, this is one of the ones here that I'm going to have to redo let's take a look at this Um, about as heavy as a small one. This thing's really bulky. I hope you can tell here. Yeah, there's a there's a bow right here. So yeah, I was hoping that this was going to be able to support all this extra weight, but uh, it hasn't. So I'm going to have to. Uh, take this apart this is the bottom part of it and shore it up with some uh, much stronger uh, support oh yeah too much flex in that alright All right, that, this is going to be for a different time I think okay, some of the things that I also don't record a lot of is um, as I mentioned before is like uh, like setting up the consoles for a show. I have a few videos where I do it, but it, it can get pretty boring. 
and also when I'm upgrading the firmware of the consoles and more specifically it's on the Personas consoles that I've done a lot of upgrades and I've probably done at least four upgrades on the Personas consoles, the firmware upgrades since uh, since doing the last video of actually doing a firmware upgrade on the Personas so when, once you sort of know how to do it I, there's really no need to do any more videos on it but um, I'm doing this one uh, on the Allen Heath because uh, Allen Heath this is uh, November 2025 they came out with a firmware upgrade uh, which I think the last upgrade they had was in uh, 2022 so the upgrade doesn't really impact anything with how we use the console. It uh, looks like it's just addressing a lot of the uh, networking things with the console. Not issues, but I think they're maybe adding another support uh, for, uh, for um, their current networking equipment. Formatted the USB. Let's give this a let's give this a try. Looks like the format of this is uh, VFAT, but it's looking for a label. Like like a it's looking for the QU drive label, and its formatting utility puts that label on it. All right, let's go to firmware. Okay, and then it's found. I was one not version one dot nine nine. So we're going to update that. Uh, let's see, current settings are not affected. The screen will go blank for a while. Uh, the mix will reboot after the update. Do not unplug the power. So. I don't know if you can tell or not. Yeah, the um, panning, which is which they indicated would do, just show you that it's actually doing something. All right, and it actually shows over here that there's. Now you probably couldn't see it, but there's some activity going on here with it. Um, all right, let's take a look here. We'll go back up to setup. Uh, what was it utility? Yeah, firmware. All right, current firmware is version 1.99. So the console is now upgraded. Uh, I don't really see anything else. I didn't read anything else that needed to be done. It looks good. All right. That's going to be it. Nothing else really to do here with this. So, does, uh, so the upgrade shouldn't impact really any of the functionality that we use the console for, but I always like to have it upgraded. All right. I think that's going to be it for this. All right. Thanks for watching.